Oh my gosh. Welcome to the mighty Susquehanna River. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but that was my first cast of the morning with the X-Wrap. Just a solid slab, typical average size October bass, baby. There's such a specific technique to fishing these jerk baits this time of the year out on this river. All too many times I see people fishing a jerk bait way too quickly and you really need to slow it down. Sometimes they'll want this jerk bait sitting in front of them for 30 seconds or more without being twitched. Sometimes they'll want it just hanging out the back of the boat and you just keep kind of twitching it back and forth and eventually you get one to eat it. Sometimes you'll throw it out and cast it and on the second or third crank, if they're eating bait, they're all over it. So let the fish dictate, but be patient. If, if you can't have fun with a three pound smallmouth and current hit a jerk bait, something's wrong. Oh, what a. <laughs> Dance for us, baby. What a beautiful fish. I'm not going to throw it at very Susquehanna River. Jerk baits. There are just so many beautiful fish like that in here. That fish hit that lure so hard. Now, again, what I'm doing is I'm working the current seam. I have the boat sitting in slack water. I'm working a current seam, and I'm throwing that jerk bait. It's almost three quarters of the way. It's at about a 10 or 11 o'clock position because I want to get it down into that current. These fish are sitting behind rocks and boulders in the faster water. And when I get myself out of position with the wind blowing before, I kept, I, I, I was putting the boat in the eddy because hmm. it, there wasn't as much current. And I had a headwind blowing. I'd get off the trolling motor and I'd be 20 or 30 yards downstream. The wind laid down now so I can move tighter to this current and I can hold better. It's going to make for a much easier presentation the way I want to do this because I want to fish on this angle down through this current seam. That's really important. They are not turned on by any stretch today. So I found something that they'll, they're, they're preferring a little bit. So I just got to keep, keep on it. When you find something that works, if it's not broke, don't fix it. That is a, the first tab on the angler notebook. If it works, keep doing it. And that's a, that's a pretty classic situation if the bass and the fall are in current. And again, 53 or 54 degrees, we got water temp right now. These fish are in current. They want the current. I can't get bit in the slack water. They want current. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Did you see that? Oh! Crushed it! Oh! Same size. Oh! Jumped three times! She jumped three times! There she goes! Just one cookie cutter. One cookie cutter after another. That's why the mid to late fall period is so awesome on this river. Get yourself a black and gold X wrap at your local Cabela's. And get out and get to eat on some of that food. Hmm. Goodness gracious. They're hammering. I mean, they're hitting it so hard, all of a sudden. When you tell me, I was saying it all along, how important it is to stay on a spot, and when the wind's blowing 15 miles an hour like it was, I couldn't do it. I haven't moved off this spot, and I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm 
I'm going to win. We'll be right back.